His Way is the 144th episode of the television series Star Trek – Deep Space Nine, the 20th episode of the sixth season. In addition to introducing the character Vic Fontaine, played by James Darren, to the series, the episode involves the relationship between Odo and Kira Neris. It originally aired on April 22, 1998. The premiere received Nielsen ratings of 4.3 points corresponding to about 4.2 million viewers. Topic. Plot The crew enjoys a new holosuite program of Dr. Bashir's featuring a 1960s Las Vegas lounge singer named Vic Fontaine, who has been programmed with sentience and awareness that he is a hologram. Bashir introduces the crew to Vic, who begins to comment on the nature of the relationship between Odo and Kira Neris, but stops himself before revealing his thoughts. While Kira travels to Baja to meet with her ex-lover Shakar Eden, Odo visits Vic to inquire further. Vic observes that Odo clearly is in love with Kira, but is afraid to pursue her, whereas Kira likes him but considers him only a friend. Odo blames Kira's involvement with Shakar, but Vic counters that Odo's biggest obstacle is his reserved, aloof personality, and suggests he needs to have some fun. He has Odo perform on piano during a show, then arranges a double date with a pair of holographic women. Odo finds himself more relaxed, even singing some of Vic's tunes to himself absent-mindedly while in Siskar's office. Vic then arranges an encounter with a holographic singer made to look like Kira, but Odo is dissatisfied at her lack of Kira's personality, and knowing that he is only comfortable with her because he knows she's a hologram, becomes frustrated and leaves. Vic, determined to take matters into his own hands, transfers himself to a holosuite where Kira is meditating after her return to the station. He invites her to dinner, supposedly on Odo's behalf, and convinces her to accept. Vic then contacts Odo via the station's comm system and persuades him to come to the holosuite to see a new and improved Kira program. Odo and Kira share a romantic date and a dance at Vic's club, but when Odo reveals he believes she is a hologram and Vic informs him otherwise, Odo leaves, angered and embarrassed. The next day, Odo attempts to avoid Kira in the promenade, but the Major, after telling Dax she has just experienced a moment of perfect clarity, confronts Odo. She insists they need to discuss what happened over dinner. Anywhere but a holosuite. Odo asks about whether Shakar would object to that, believing she is still seeing him. Kira tells him her trip was strictly business regarding the Dominion War, and that she isn't romantically involved with anyone. Odo sarcastically asks if she would also like a dance afterward, and a kiss, to which Kira heatedly responds that she might. Odo then declares, Well, then, who needs dinner? Why don't I just get it over with and kiss you right now? Kira replies, well, why don't you?" And Odo grabs her and kisses her passionately, in front of the crowd on the promenade. Later, Odo stops by the holodeck to thank Vic for his help. Music This episode includes Sisko and Odo singing, "'They Can't Take That Away From Me." The song originates from the 1937 film Shall We Dance and was composed by George Gershwin. Vic also sings several songs in the Holosuite, including a version of the 1957 song Come Fly With Me. The character Lola Crystal sings a cover of the hit 1956 song, Fever. Reception In 2016, Hollywood Reporter ranked this as the 93rd best episode of all Star Trek. <laughs> 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 <la